Welcome back to Six in the City. We're pleased to welcome Dr. Roy Smith with us and Christy Hogg. Dr. Smith is Pain Specialist Center and Tennessee Hyperbaric Center. We're going to find out about that work. And Christy is a mother, so as a child that's been involved in some of, on some of this treatment. So what we are, we are into. And uh, the, the Hyperbaric Center is what, Doctor? Um, the Hyperbaric Center that we have here in Jackson now is a, um, is a modality, it's a therapy that is uh, used mainly for what we call off-label use. Uh, right. There is two types uh, of indications for it. One is the wound care center, like in the hospital. Right. Uh, and then there is uh, multiple uh, diseases that can be helped with hyperbaric uh, therapy. Hyperbaric therapy is intense is, oxygen. It's an intense oxygen where you are under pressure. Uh, somewhere between, say, 33 feet, uh, like if you went under sea on the water right. diving, between 33 feet and 66 feet. Okay. Um, what does it do for a patient then? Um, hyperbaric therapy is the only Medicare-approved therapy, non-hormonal therapy, to increase uh, organ function. Okay. Um, it is obviously used a lot for wound care, but uh, the therapy is non-selective. Uh, it can work in multiple organs. Okay. Um, the most common one that is being used now is for brain problems All right. uh, or for cellular functions. Oh, so, okay. All right. So, uh, Christy, then your daughter has what? My daughter has a mitochondrial disease, okay, which is so a just... very rare genetic disorder where okay. her cells do not convert her food to her energy that she needs in order to survive. All right. So, what does this treatment do for her then? For her, the oxygen is going directly to her cells, which is the only thing that can pass what they call the blood-brain barrier. And the oxygen is forced to those cells and gives her the maximum potential of energy that she needs in order to survive. Okay. What so. age is she? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> what age is she? She's 10 now. She's 10. And the, she doctor said, the doctor said she wouldn't live past the age of three. Okay. And so we started when she was seven years of age. So how often does she have to have the treatments? Well, we, we do them every day. We have what's called a mild hyperbaric chamber in our home, okay. and we do hyperbaric therapy every day. Every day. Um, high pressure oxygen, what Dr. Smith has in his clinic is 100% oxygen, and that really is the maximum potential for, um, for working in the brain. Um, Macy's mild therapy is also beneficial. Okay, wow. all right. That's impressive. This treatment started how then? Who discovered that this would work? Uh, the therapy has been around uh, probably since the 60s. Right. It was mainly used for brain problems with uh, decompression for divers. That's how it really got started. Okay. Uh, and um, then it was found out that it can heal other areas. And, for example, I got a picture here of an uh, injury to a brain. Uh, and then after uh, treatment with the hyperbaric, you can actually see the improvement and reconstruction rebuilding, we call a remodeling okay. of the brain. So anyone that has suffered brain trauma, injury, stroke, whatever, should use this or could use this? Well, not everybody. There are certain specific things that can be helped. Um, what we have found good data for is for traumatic head injuries. Uh, there's about 1.7 million people in the United States that have head injuries. Uh, and if you look at their lifespan, they they will actually earn half of what a normal person would. So it's a major impact on our society. Um, especially now after the two wars, the Iraq war and the Afghanistan war, we have seen so many soldiers come back uh, with uh, traumatic head injuries and post-stress uh, syndromes. And there is a big push to use this therapy to uh, improve the, uh, the outcome. Do people have to be referred to you? Um, no, not necessarily. Okay, they could come and see. We're talking to Dr. Roy Smith with the uh, Tennessee uh, Hyperbaric Center about the, this treatment. What has it meant then for Macy? Um, Macy was considered legally blind, and now she's got her vision. Um, she had severe epileptic seizures to where they never stopped. On the EEG machine, they were continuous, and they were getting progressively worse. Um, the second day of therapy, her seizures stopped and have been under control for three years now. Without, med without additional she, medication? She is on medication, not, yep. as, as, not as high, high a dose, but okay. now we've got the dose halved so that she can have a normal functioning life of what Macy is. Okay. Macy is developmentally delayed. Um, she's in a wheelchair, but now she's starting to crawl and she's trying to stand. Um, she, she now eats food by her mouth instead of using her feeding tube. Wow. And all of this is attributed to this hyperbaric therapy? The only thing, wow. yes. 
And she's been, I, I apologize, she's been doing this for how long? The Almost three years. Almost three years. Yep. So that great of an improvement in just three years. Yeah, the, the, the most fantastic, amazing thing was the fact that her seizure stopped within the second day of therapy. And that was, okay. that was huge for us. Wow. wow. Okay. Where's the center? Uh, it's on Stormbridge, Stormbridge. 15 Stormbridge. Okay. Dr. Roy Smith and uh, Christy Hogg, they've got their story with the, the Tennessee Hyperbaric Center. Also, the Paint Specialist Center is part of your work as well. It's a pleasure to have you here. Fascinating. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you very much. Up on this and wish you all the best. Thank you That's so it. very That's much. That's encouraging news. It is. That's Thank encouraging you. News. Very good. We're going to find out about uh, Montessori education with Julie Riddle as we continue. This is Six in the City.